there's a bright light over there. I can't look. I'm gonna show you how to. Oh, this is in the shot. That's not good. It's... Hello, folks. I'm going to show you how to make a Yelp clone using React and Hasura, except instead of reviewing restaurants, we're gonna be reviewing Planet. There's a new Dune movie coming out, and I'm really excited about it. So we're gonna be using planets from the Dune universe in our app. As you may already know, it's really quick to get started with Hasura. Just click the Heroku button right on the home page. And once you do that, you can click deploy to Heroku, which will take you to Heroku. And we enter an app name, Yelp Hasura, and we'll click deploy app. This will give us a Postgres database and Hasura on top of it. This is Less than 30 seconds right now, it's sped up, so it's going faster. We will click view app and we're taken to our Hasura console. There's our GraphQL endpoint where we can post our request. There's our headers that we can pass in. And then here is the Explorer with the graphical playground where we can test out queries. Let's go to the data tab. We're going to create our planets table. It will have ID type UUID. We'll generate a random UUID with that function. We'll have name, text, and we'll have a cuisine for the planet, which will also be type text. And the primary key will be ID. We'll add the table. Here's our table with the columns that we created, ID, name, and cuisine. Let's insert some rows. We have Arrakis as our first planet. The cuisine will be spice because it's the spice planet from the Dune universe. We have Caladan, seafood, it's the ocean world. Giddy Prime, fast food, and Kaitain, gourmet because it's the royal planet. There's our rose that we just added. I don't know how to pronounce the names of these planets. <laughs> so here is the graphical tab and we can see our schema was auto-generated based on our Postgres database, which is really convenient. We can get the name and the cuisine and the IDs for our planets. There we go on the right side, we see them listed. We can order it by name if we like. And we can also say where the name is I like, which is matching the search term, the search string. So we'll do percent raku percent which means it includes that string and we can see that arrakis showed up in our search results and here's an analyze button on the top here this is because you don't have to write resolvers with hasura hasura takes your graphql query and converts it to a sql query and with this analyze button you can see the sql query that gets generated so in our case we have select star from planets where the name is I like Rakı. Rakı is a Turkish alcoholic drink. And if you like Rakı too, go ahead and like this video and leave a comment. I'm going to close this window and replace the search term with a variable called match, which will be type string. And down here, we can enter the match variable value. So it, let's try out lad and we see Caladan because it has lad in it. This query right here is what we're going to use in our app later on when we're implementing search. Let's go ahead and create our react app with create react app. And I'm going to call it melange, which is named after spice melange. And I don't really know how to pronounce it, but whatever. Um, we'll CD into our freshly minted app and we'll install some uh, npm modules. We have GraphQL and Apollo client for GraphQL queries. We have React Router DOM for routing and we have Emotion for styling. After we install those, we start our app with npm start and this is what it looks like right now. This is just the default state of our app. So I'm just going to check out what's in there and then I'll open it with my code editor. This is just the default code that's in there. I'm going to replace it with my code. 
I'm importing some libraries. I've got Apollo provider and Apollo client for my GraphQL uh, network request stuff. So Apollo client will help us with the requests and Apollo provider will pass in the client using the context. Here is the client being created with Apollo client. It has the URL for our GraphQL endpoint, which we can find in the Hasura console. Here's the app itself that's wrapped by the Apollo provider and it's passing the client. And it just says my first Apollo app right now. So what does our app look like? It says my first Apollo app. We're going to add a directory called components for our components. We'll add our first component, which will be planets. And inside planets, we're importing useQuery and GQL, which we're going to use for our query. And here is the query string, which is currently empty, but we're going to fill it out in a second. And here is our actual component. It's got the useQuery function call, and it's passing in our query, and it's showing loading and error states, and then the data when it comes back, the name and the cuisine. Let's go to Hasura and get our query from over there. We just want a simple query that gets all of the planets right now. So we'll build it and then we'll remove the variables and run it again. And we're just going to copy this query over into our code. I'm just going to import the new component planets into index.js and I'm going to render inside the app component. Let's go ahead and check out what our app looks like. Going to React and it's showing our planets and the cuisines. But it's looking a little bit boring, so I'm going to add some styling to this. I have some basic styles in index.css. I've also added some shared components, badge and list. Badge is for making our cuisines look like little badges next to our planet names. And then list just has styles for the planet list and the list items inside the list. Going to planets.js, we're going to import these new shared components so we can use them. We're going to delete all this old code here and replace it with our new fancy styled components. And here we are, it looks a lot better and we got some style now. The next thing we wanna do is add a search form to our app. So here's some styles for a search form. I'm just importing some input and button styles that I created and then there's some basic styles for the search form itself, just some layout stuff. And then here is the search component with the search form, which has the input and the button inside. Let's go to index.js and import all these new goodies in here. And I'm going to put my search form at the top above the planets list. And let's see what this looks like now. We have our search form on top and it looks pretty. And I also want to add a logo actually, just for the fun of it. So here are some logo styles that I added and it just says Melange. That's the name of our app. I'm going to import it into here and put it right at the top here. I'm going to check out what this looks like. And this is what our logo looks like. Now I want to put these two components into one component called planet search because they actually work together. They have some shared state because when you search for something, it's going to change what's shown in the planets list. So I'm going to import the use state hook here inside this planet search component, and we're going to call it to set a state for the input value. And then the set input value is what we set the, the state for this. The empty string is just the default state for input value. 
the search component will accept these as props. So it will accept the input value and then on change, it will set the input value to the new value. And on search is the event handler for when you click the search button. So right now it's just an empty function. I'm going in search.js so that we can accept these props in this component. So it's accepting input file on change and on search. And the input component is going to take in the input file and the on change handler. And the button component will take the on search handler for the on click event. Here's our controlled text input. We're going to use lazy query. We're going to use use lazy query inside our planet search component because we don't want to run the query when the component mounts. We want to run it when we click the search button. So it's a lazy query. Here's our search query string, which we're going to copy paste. You can find it in your history if you don't see it. So just copy it. It's the same query that we had before with the match and the I like, and we paste it in there. And then we call use lazy query and we pass in that search string and it returns a function, which we name search, which we're going to call when we click the button. And it also returns loading and error states and the data that it will return after we call it. So inside the on search handler, we can call the search function and we can pass in the input value as a variable, the match variable, because that's the term that we're going to be searching for. We're also going to have our planets component take in this new planets prop. It's going to pass in the search results if we have any, otherwise it's going to pass in null so that it can render just the default list of planets. Inside our planets component, we're going to add in that new prop, new planets. Since we're passing that in, planets should accept that. Let's replace the part where we're rendering the planets with a function render planets, because we're going to be passing different planets depending on the props. So we're going to remove this data.planets.map with the render planets function call. So here's our new list with the render planets and we're passing in the new planets if we have them. Otherwise, we're just going to render the default list of planets. So here's the final state of our app. Let's search for Cal and we find Calodan. And now we're going to search for Rack and we find Arrakis. And if we don't search for anything, then we get the default list, which is exactly what we wanted. So there you go. This is our baby Yelp app. The first feature is search. Next up, we're going to implement reviews. They're going to be live reviews. That means we're going to be using subscriptions, which are really easy with Hasura. If you have any feature requests for the next video, leave a comment. For example, instead of using I like, you could use full text search by adding a function on Hasura. So if you want to see how to do that, I can make a video on that. See you in the next video. Bye.